This is the Malamata market in Accra. Items on display at the market can be seen in different types of plastics. And one thing is obvious, every shopper leaves with a plastic bag. The end of most of these bags, the cause of national and global conversation, the menace of plastics. Ironically, traders at the markets believe they can do without the plastics, but blame customer preference for the challenge. I prefer the leaves than the, uh, the quality. And the other quality, the cement paper to when we use it, when we use to wrap it, it's very, very uh, hygienic for us. Yes. Do people like it? Oh, yeah. If, you, if you, they, they came, we give to them, they will take it. So for us, when we are not, that's why they are not I mean, requesting it back. If we are giving them, they will take it. One of the many options that have come up in dealing with this plastic menace is waste segregation. Meet Francis Clevo, a fabricator who makes segregated bins from galvanized aluminium. At his workshop at New Botiano Broadcasting in Accra, Francis puts into action the global call to take action on the plastic menace in his small way. He believes a durable waste bin, not made from plastic, coupled with segregation, is a solution. It takes over 30 years. That over 30 years, the maintenance that we are expecting to do is to change the down. The down cover is the only thing that you change. The bin actually there is there for life. It doesn't, nothing happen to it. Segregation is the way to go. Paper comes up as the most obvious alternative to plastics. I mean, you see, the government is not going to produce paper bags, but the government will promote uh, the, pro uh, the production of paper bags. And um, as uh, the framework of the one district, one factory, if somebody wants to produce paper bags, we can approach the Ministry of um, Trade and Industries to be assisted in, in that. Henrita Ajiti is the creative director of Brand E, a branding and packaging startup. The company's policy of going into paper bag production is also one underlined not by profit entirely, but to save the environment. The paper and the plastic debate is an interesting one, and therein lies the topic about the environment. For some, the ultimate goal of sustainability is for humans to exist in ways that strengthen and regenerate the planet for all future generations. One thing that I read that really caught my attention to want to go into paper full time and it's a research by Ellen MacArthur Foundation and it says that in 2050 if we continue using plastic the way we are using in 2050 we are going to have more um, plastic in the ocean than fish. You know that was some sort of an alarm that got me to think that okay maybe I could create a niche around paper with my business. Even when people call us and say, oh, Brandy, can you do rubber bags? I'm like, no. Even if you want to do like two million order of rubber bags, it's just an outright no. According to her, some organizations are interested in the usage and have bought into the paper bag idea. But unfortunately, although Ghana has some tree species that can be converted into paper, it does not have a pulp and paper mill that is critical in making this a viable alternative. A visit to the Achimota forest revealed a number of tree species that could produce pulp for paper. Two of these in the Achimota forest are the Melina and Eucalyptus. So this species is called Melina arborea. It's an exotic species. Melina has been in the system for some time. We've been harvesting it over close to a decade or two. Mm. And so it's been around for some time. And we have it in most of our reserves in the southern part of Ghana, okay. yes. The director in charge of climate change at the Forestry Commission, Rosalind J. Zuta, says before the country shifts away from plastics, there should be a very good strategy. The use of biodegradable paper um, packaging materials is a very good option 
And we can do this quite sustainably without any effect on our forest reserves on our, or on our forest estate. What we have to do is to get other lands. I mean, the land area and the forest reserve is not that much. There are a lot more lands in Ghana that are not being even put to use now. It's a matter of identifying where they are, negotiating with the relevant landowners, and then getting into large-scale plantations just for paper production. According to her, commitment to implement a comprehensive assessment of Ghana's current plastic situation is critical. Implementation carries another level of commitment altogether. But most of the times I think that we sort of copy or follow blindly. That's how come we are not able to implement what we want to implement. Before you want to shift away from plastics, there should be a comprehensive assessment of what the situation is in, in country. Year in. Year out, it is becoming obvious that though there could be several solutions to the plastic menace, it is as much a policy initiative as it is to attitudinal change. Wendy Lai, TV3 News, Accra.